you to show proof of vaccination before you are allowed in, and a judge has approved it. A U.S. judge ruling Norwegian cruise lines can demand proof of vaccination from passengers for now. It directly contradicts a law signed by the governor earlier this year. 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer asks if other businesses will be allowed to do the same. We're telling private businesses you may not conduct your business in a way that you think is beneficial to your business on the grounds that it ostensibly discriminates against being vaccinated. And the court in Miami was very unsympathetic to that argument. Louis Varelli is a professor of constitutional law at Stetson University and says the judge granted a temporary injunction in favor of Norwegian Cruise Line. Are they likely to win at the full trial? And if so, would they be irreparably harmed between now and then if we didn't stop the statute from being applied? In both cases, the judge decided yes, finding the state's ban on businesses requesting proof of vaccination could actually be a violation of the First Amendment. Anytime you single out a particular message under the First Amendment, in other words, you can't say this, then the Constitution tends to protect the speaker, and that's what the judge says is happening here. The state says it will appeal the decision out of the U.S. Southern District, but until further notice, cruise ships can ask for proof of vaccination. Will this precedent potentially impact other businesses? It certainly could. I don't know what the 11th Circuit will do, but I feel pretty confident you're going to see more district court judges willing to entertain arguments saying this has gone too far, not allowing a private business to determine who its customers are without an obvious stated benefit to the state, which is what you're required to show, is problematic. The judge had to make her decision fast. Norwegian Cruise Line's first cruise out of Miami is scheduled for this weekend on August 15th.